Hello folks and welcome to App Screencast. This is my second video in my series on Final Cut Pro 10 basic training. So we, last video we went overview of the application, what everything is. We also talked about importing your footage into Final Cut, how to create an event and how to create your first project. So we've got a project down at the bottom here, empty timeline. We're going to start adding footage into the timeline. Up here we've got our events and in this event we've got four clips from some footage I recorded in my garden about 15 minutes ago. Um, pretty bad footage, just really short clips, really shaky footage, but for the purpose of this tutorial I'm sure it'll be fine. So we'll use this as our first clip and what we can do if we wish we just drag the whole clip into the timeline like so. But if we choose not to we could be a bit more precise and by clicking on the clip and grabbing these little handles here, we can choose where we want the clip to start. So for example, I'm going to choose that section. And then I want to choose where the clip ends so I can move it in. And I'm, by the way, I'm viewing it all in the viewer here, see exactly what I'm doing. Uh, I'm not viewing it up here really, I'm just pulling it in here, but viewing it in this area. So now I'm going to choose where I want the clip to end. So. As you can see, as I'm pulling this little handle, I'm getting a little timer coming up telling me how long the clip will be. So it's, it's four seconds, and I'm pulling it, and it's going to five seconds. So we'll have a five second clip. Pull it into, ta into the timeline, like so. And there we go, we've got the five second clip. What I can do now is bring my skimmer to the end, press spacebar, and start playing the video clip. There you go. Pretty uninteresting stuff, but next up, I want to bring another clip in. I want our second clip. So I look for some different footage. Same again, I could just drag this whole clip in if I wanted to and drag and drop it. I choose not to though. I will precisely edit it a bit better. So we'll start there and we'll finish the clip there. So again, clip is about five seconds long. Drag it and drop it into the timeline. Um, quick note: say I do drag the whole clip in, or I drag a little bit of a clip in, and I choose I don't. I can decide I don't want it. You can just click on it and press backspace or delete to delete it. So let me click, uh, grab some footage from here. I'll just rush this quickly. Grab some footage. Quite random again. There you go. So there you go, we've got three clips into, into the timeline. We've kind of made our first little movie, as it were. Obviously not very good, but you get the idea. Now, what is quite important to talk about is this little button here, which gives, gives us all our tools, all our most commonly used tools. So we've got the select tool. And what the select tool does is lets you basically select things, like so. You can also grab things move things around and as you can see the magnetic timeline will if we pull it out here it will just it will just bring it all towards the rest of the, the clips pull it all together so that's the select tool so we can use that to select clips and also move clips next up we'll talk about the position tool and this is a bit like the select tool you can click on things but what you can do say I grab this I can move it anywhere on the timeline and it will fill in, fill in it all magnetically um, moving together again. It doesn't, it leaves gaps and, and these gaps are actually just black space and these black spaces can actually be moved as well if you want them removing. But as you get the idea, using the position tool allows you to position everything exactly on the timeline how you wish. So there's no magnetic timeline going off here. It's all it just all fits where you want it to. By the way, if you make a mistake and say you, you like drop a clip into the middle and you lose all your footage, if you go command Z, it will go back a step and you keep hitting command Z Z and uh, it will go keep going back a step from what you did last time. So that's a good way of doing things. Next up, we'll talk about the trim tool. 
and the trim tool basically is you just go to in between two clips and I can make the first clip bigger if I wish and then that will eat into the second clip so it's not actually making the whole any of the timeline any longer it's just making the first clip slightly longer and the second clip shorter or I can go the other way and make the first clip shorter and make the second clip longer so that lets, gives me a bit more precision there next up the blade tool really useful tool and basically this will let you chop things up so like a blade it lets you cut things so if I just click here as you can see I'm making cuts into the footage that can be useful if you want to then start adding effects to a particular section of the clip you can cut, make cuts etc it's really useful next up we've got the range tool which lets me select clips multiple, well, let me select anywhere on the timeline and what I could do then is hit delete and delete multiple um, clips, multiple scenes, etc. So it's a bit like a select tool but kind of a little bit more control. Then we've got the zoom tool which as you can imagine lets you zoom in on the timeline. A bit like this down here, oops. A bit like the actual zoom toggle here, you can just use the zoom tool and last but not least we've got the hand tool which allows me to move, put, move along the timeline just hold down click I can move along the timeline 